Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to teach you about the vector equation of a plane. And this video is going to be pretty short because I don't know how to make it longer without repeating a lot of what I say. And the vector and parametric equation of a line. So what I'm saying is you should watch that video before you watch this video. It's a nice segue. But otherwise, let's get started here. So we've got our plane here. And in order for us to write the vector equation of a plane, and so the vector equation of this plane, we need a point on our plane and the point on our plane here is a point here with uh, coordinates a comma b comma c and we've drawn the position vector of that point um, in maroon here and remember a position vector is just a vector from the origin to a point and uh, yeah so we've got a point on our plane and in addition in order for us to write the vector equation of a plane in addition to a point on our plane we need two direction vectors. Yes, the point needs to be on the plane, but yeah, that's not sufficiently clear. But yeah, in addition to a point on the plane, we need two direction vectors on the plane, right? And um, a way to get all of these things is if you're given three points on your plane, because you could use one of them as your point on the plane, and then you could subtract uh, pairwise the coordinates of um, two different pairs of points and then that could get you the two direction vectors you need, right? Um, yeah, so I'll make video examples, but basically what I'm saying is given three points, let's say one of them is right here, where a comma b comma c is, and then one of them is at the tail end of uh, this uh, direction vector v, and then another is at the tail end of this direction vector u, then you can subtract the coordinates of this point here uh, and the coordinates of a comma b comma c, to get the direction vector u, and then you could subtract the coordinates of um, the uh, point a comma b comma c from uh, the coordinates of the point at the tail end of this vector v to get this direction vector v. Now, what we require of the two direction vectors is that they not be parallel. If they're parallel, the two direction vectors is no good to us. But yeah, if we've got two direction vectors that are not parallel, like this vector u here and this vector v here on the plane, and you have a point on the plane, then you could write the vector equation of the plane. And here's how. Well, suppose you have a random point on your plane. What you want to do is figure out how to use the point on the plane and the two direction vectors to get to any random point on the plane. And so again, let's say the random point on your plane is this point x comma y comma z. Here's how we could get to it. First, we'll use the direction vector of the point on the plane to jump on the plane, to get on the plane. And then once we do that, we could scale the two direction vectors. So first say scale the direction vector u to come this far. And then we can scale the direction vector v uh, to go that far and get to the random point x comma y comma z. So um, a better visual for what I just communicated is something like this, right? So again, you can use the point um, a comma b comma c to jump on your plane using the uh, position vector for that point, right? And then you could scale one of your direction vectors to go in one direction and then scale the other direction vector to go in the other direction until you get to the random point you want to get to. Um, and so then uh, this here uh, using vector addition will be like um, the position vector for the point A plus alpha times the vector U, the direction vector U, and then plus beta times uh, the other direction vector V. And so all of that will look like this if we write it in component form. And if we want, you know, we could write um, it more succinctly like this, right? Uh, where it's clear that this vector here represents this vector, the position vector for the point, um, the random, the point A uh, with uh, that, that allows you to jump on your plane. And then, yeah, you get it, you get it. Uh, and these are the components of the um, direction vector U, and these are the components of the direction vector V. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, and uh, if for some reason um, you find it helpful to uh, write the components, you could write the components like this, and that's it, yeah? And the next video, I'm going to show you how to convert uh, the vector equation of a plane to the Cartesian equation of a plane. I already made uh, the video on the Cartesian equation of a plane a couple of weeks ago, and that uses a normal vector, which is a vector perpendicular to your plane. So check out that video. But yeah, the next video I'll make will be converting from uh, the vector equation of a plane to the Cartesian equation of a plane. 
All right, cool. I hope you learned a lot in this video and keep watching. Take care.